Hello, everybody. It's a City Man Haven here today, and I have Blade with me. Um, hey, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Blade. Did you knew I was going to do that. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I did. So, what's one question that we get asked quite a bit? If if uh, if you can think of it off the top of your head, what is the one question that you feel like we get asked quite a bit, Blade? Um. I would say... And we have no reply to it. Oh, you're talking about the camel? No, I am not talking... Well, I mean, I guess that's a question we get asked about all the time, but no. It is, what is our favorite tank? <laughs> oh, well, there is that. Yeah, we get it. We get asked that quite a bit. Um, I don't have a favorite. However, I can tell you a tank I absolutely hate, and that's the T-25 pilot. <laughs> So let's go ahead and dive into statistics here. <laughs> <laughs> you hate this one, huh? I, I, I've tried to play it. I've, I, do, I don't know why it's a tier eight. <laughs> I'm being honest with you. It's another lackluster 240 damage. What's, what's the reload? It, it's, it's got oh, decent reload. We'll go over it. Yeah, it's, it's got we'll go decent over. reload. So 221 standard pin and it's AP. Uh, 268 premium pin, 45 millimeters of high explosive, 240 alpha across the board, 320. High explosive, 1,400 hit points. It's beefy for a tier 8. Top speed, 55 forward, 20 in reverse. 20 is pretty nice to have in the reverse. Uh, 390 V range and still concealment. We're looking at 351.39. You can get it done 288 with a camo build. Uh, 375 moving. And then with a camo build that I currently have equipped, we're looking at a moving concealment of 297.83. So, so it could be a scout. No, it can't. I know. No, it can't because you you hit that comfort range around 265. Okay. okay. Like any tank that has got 264 still concealment with silent driving is it can be effective at pushing forward and scouting. But any of them with that has any higher than that, it it's just it's a little bit too high that you can't really make those aggressive plays to push up into the next bush and then you get spotted out. Like that one plays against you. Um, I, I, I got you. Yeah. Uh, another thing to mention is this, uh, this is the T 25 pilot number one. Okay. And then we also have the vengeance, which is the exact same tank. However, price tag on the T 25 pilot, uh, the unskinned variant is 7,450, uh, on the vengeance it's 9,740, but wow. you don't need to equip camos on this tank because it already has some pre-equipped. So I guess you're paying for the camo that's, pre-equipped and also the 50% crew training bonus. Oh, so yeah. Um, other than being I a standard, there's... you know, standard premium, it has an extra 50% on uh, crew training, which is nice. still does not make the tank worth it. Right. Cause all crew trainers in this game have something that they're lacking in. So you have a 90 millimeter gun, so you cannot overmatch 30 mil. There's no overmatching inside this tank unless you're shooting an under armor. That's like 25 or 20 millimeters. Uh, for instance, that's mostly on tier sevens and like the uh, some of the Skodas have that under armor rating. Uh, Tigers, you will bounce consistently. But we're looking at um, module damage of 122. That's standard 90. Uh, high explosive splash, 1.46 for anyone who wants to splash someone around a corner with a 90. All right. Fled. That's not bad splash already, so I guess. No, it's horrid. It's a 90. Don't even try it. Just <laughs> shoot the target directly. And, uh, you, you mean, don't shoot the wall and expect it to hit him. <laughs> it's not a strum tiger. Turret armor, 76, <laughs> 64, 64. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll go over that in a second. Damage per minute, 1,846. Currently, my damage per minute with the build I have is 2,532. Uh, penetration of 500 meters. You have AP standards, so it's not going to drop a whole lot from 221 to 198. Max ammo speed standards are 975, premium is 1,219, and then um, high explosives 195. Thing is, though, is that, Blade, this is where I'm starting to talk about it. You're lackluster. You have APCR premium, but you have 1,912 velocity. There's tanks out there with, like, 1,400 inside the same round right. type. So it's like this is kind of the middle ground or, like, the lower end of APCR. Right. Um, standard reload, yeah. 7.8 seconds. Currently, I have mine down to 5.69. Nice. And then aim time, two seconds. Uh, with Born Leader and everything that I have equipped currently, my aim time on my tank is 1.84. 50-round ammo capacity, 
Um, I have not yet experienced anything on this tank running out of ammo. Uh, accuracy at 0.34, currently mine is 0.28 on my build. Uh, accuracy during turret rotation, 1.53. And then if we bring it over into the game here, I know that we have some yeah, you've really... you off the screen. I can't see that stuff anymore. Um, I have gone off the screen. Let me scroll down a tad bit. Uh, yep, yeah. There you go. Yeah, 1.53. I totally forgot that I zoomed it in. I'm a Muppet. So here's the part <laughs> that's funny. We have accuracy during turret rotation inside of the website. However, here in the game, we have accuracy during rotation. Turret rotation. Okay, so I right. guess it's aligned. Um, thing is, though, on... Where is it? I know we had it somewhere. There it is. In the middle of the screen, we have accuracy during movement at 1.52. Thing is, on the website... We don't have that statistic. Hmm. So, just a little bit of a heads I up for why. war gaming if they would like to add that. 10 degrees of gun depression. It is very depressed. It works well in ridge lines. And it has 20 degrees of elevation, so it gets happy. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, traverse speed of the turret, 45 degrees. It's decently fast. You don't really have to do anything. You don't have to use... Um, what What's that perk called again? Uh, Snapshot? No, no, the one that makes you move faster. I forgot what it was oh. called. Um, rapid aim. There it is. Engine power, yeah. 700 horsepower, 18.75 horsepower to ton. I don't see a point in using a uh, power terrain on this because that power, that, uh, power to weight's really good. Uh, track traverse speed, 43 degrees. Terrain resistance across the board. We're looking at 0 0.5 on hard, 0 0.7 on medium, and 1.5 on soft. Off-road driving might be recommended on this just for the soft terrain advantage to help try and maintain that power to weight. And then there is... Um, the best factor about this tank. This is against 192 pin. However, in this area, we have 88 millimeters in console, which probably makes this an effect of like 110. I, I mean, still though, you're talking about a tier eight. Everything has above 200 millimeters of pin unless you're playing pref. Uh, so yeah, this is just essentially no armor at all. Uh, on the sides here, we're looking at 50.8 on PC, but console, this is actually 50 on the dot, so 152s can overmatch you. And then, I mean, it's not like it's going to matter. Your rear armor here is, you know, 38.1, so 120s can pin you here. <laughs> and 119 point, whatever it is that they have for some of the so, British guns. So, don't let anybody shoot you. Yeah, no armor. <laughs> None whatsoever. <laughs> and the part that makes me giggle is, is that we have almost... You know, like, it, the mobility's okay, the view range is okay, there's a couple of things about the tank that is just okay, but that's, that's a, all it is, is just... It's got decent camo, though. Okay. It, decent doesn't help it. it well, I mean... It, it's basically like trying to dip into every single aspect of what makes a good tank good, but, yeah, but not could, really... Like, in, uh, in, making it, it you can't boost it enough to make it good it, it i mean the accuracy is decent at 0.34 wouldn't it yeah with the base accuracy at 0.34 it's it's decent accuracy the reloads fast pretty much this is just a gun mounted on top of a tank and that's the way to look right. at it you're, I mean, you ready blade i mean how would you play it would you play it like a sniper or would you play i mean i mean i mean that's the way i would play it I would play it, it like a sniper. It depends. I would try to stay back and hide in a bush somewhere. And yeah, but, I mean, really if we're talking angry. about concealment-wise, okay, for instance, like we'll take mediums, we'll do America, we'll do Russia. Russia will be a good example. T-25 pilot, let's do the most recent review that I did on a tank. Uh, the T-44-100 has 264 Jeez. still concealment, which is kind of that comfort zone to start using it as kind of a support scout role, if needed. Right, right. You know, the, the 288 is just all Americans have got really high camo ratings and it, it's just making these concealed is extremely difficult. Even the light tanks are, you know, kind of high end for getting <laughs> spotted. All right, the blade ready. Yep. Let me uh, switch over here. Oh, <sighs> blades old. I'm, I'm old. I'm ready. I, I'm yes 
But I mute myself. Yes. No, you didn't. Oh. I do. <laughs> eight. Eight. Because uh, I have everything linked through OBS to be manually individual. I have my mute see that. that I can click for overall mute. And then I have my mute that is stream mute, recording mute. I have everything set up individually. So and you're only for anyone that's wondering. Here. Yes, only yours. <laughs> for anyone wondering, this took forever to hook up. I had that's so many things to troubleshoot. This is now two ultra wide monitors set up right here that are just vertically stacked. I have one here, and then I have one that my camera stacked on top of as well. So yeah, lot, lots and lots of fun. Lots of troubleshooting. Lots of troubleshooting there. Crap tons. Right. And uh, next tank that I'm probably going to be reviewing is going to be the um, AP Amex 30, but I've been kind of slacking off and doing that because I've been kind of experimenting with concealment as of right now, because uh, we have I, learned that trees I really like this tank. Blade enjoys it, so uh, it, it's got Blade's approval. <laughs> <laughs> it is Blade. I approve this message. I approve this <laughs> message. So Blade. Uh, I guess one thing that we could talk about in this video is just like the difference we have found between trees and bushes. Oh, it's ridiculous. Like a tree. Some trees don't work at all. Yeah, some trees just don't work at all. Like you'll see your safety net and your safety net is that dotted line that goes around your tank. Okay. That is your safety camo net. Okay. Like that. It, basically, if enemies are outside <laughs> that, they need a really good crew to be able to spot you out. Don't get me wrong. There's some people that are set up to do it. And it's like, oh, that caught me off guard. But that is essentially just your safety net. If enemies are outside that, you can feel comfortable moving around. Um, other than that, trees, like these trees right here, I have not yet tried out very well with these trees. They do kind of work like bushes once they fall. But their camo rating is like 30% of that of a bush. It is nuts how bad trees are. Like even on Prokhorovka, um, the trees going down like the 1-2 um, the line, all those trees are essentially useless except for the nest that we built in the back because of how many trees are there. So the only time that trees actually become effective, uh, I've noticed that like you have to knock down like three of them to get... Look at all the light tanks. Oh to get God. the same effectiveness of um, a bush. You have to have three trees knocked down in front of you to have the same effectiveness of a bush. It is a very high number. By the way, Blade, I might be making a mistake pulling up over here, but we'll find out. You want to fall back and head left? I mean, there, there's like almost no pros in this tank except for 10 degrees of gun depression and decent pin. Other than that, there's no armor. You have very low armor. Like, literally, you, there. I would say that you would be better off using a German tank or even um, Russian. Like, without a doubt. I mean, sniping at long range, I guess, is all right. Sniping past your um, concealment. This is top tier, though, so it's, like, best experience. Is that the Arnie skin? Oh, he's got the Arnie skin in the KV, too. Here's the wall. Made it to the end. I and I set him on fire. Wasn't paying attention to where I was going. I'm going as fast as I can. Okay, no problem. Guys, look. Oh, I'm so I, I will say this, though. They did buff this tank a while back, and that buff kind of did bring it up to par a little bit. They brought its penetration up from, like, 190 up to 221. And then I believe... I don't know if the premium penetration was changed at all, but I think it might have been. 268, because I don't think it was 268 prior. Yeah, and there you go. Straight through the turret. There is nothing you can do at frontline fighting at all. The Like, your gun mantle is the only thing that you can rely on to effectively block. And if they center out their shots in your gun mantle, they'll just pin it. Because it's only 203 millimeters of armor. But if they uh, don't hit the flattest part of the gun mantle, it's like 260, 270. And I guess with your mobility going left and right, you know, just stay as a moving target. Make yourself hard to hit. Ah, well, it's 49. You need me to run around here anyway. Well, it's a good thing that you came over here because look at the uh, 
Look at the lineup. See that. So let's fall back. Let's see what we can do. Let's head over to, um, like, K. Let's go to the hidden oasis. Yeah, hidden oasis, uh, like K6, K7. Blade? Please? I am turning around, sir. Faster? <laughs> so, for instance, like, the Hawk Agel, okay? Uh, Agula, whatever the heck it's called. Um, the Hawk 30 has got the same concealment as this tank. But the thing is, that's a light tank, so it has 288 moving as well. Not to mention, it does the same damage. Literally, there's a light tank that outperforms this one. Okay, I haven't fired a shot yet. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry. You told me to come over here. I've been chasing after you ever since. I've been chasing after you ever since. Light tank. Sit there, sit there. Sit there and fire from there, where you are now. Use your gun depression over there. Speak of the devil and they shall appear. There's a Hawk 30 right there. Alright, let's see if we can try and bring this back with just the... Uh, not to mention your ammo rack location is not the greatest. And then your armor in the front. Yeah, this uh, little... Tier 6 is just going to give us some hassle. Oh, I missed. Oh, dirted! Are you kidding me? Okay, we got a minute left in the cap. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. We need to try and get eyes in the base. I'm actually just going to go ahead and load HE. There we go. Partial reset. High explosive. Fingers crossed. High explosive reset. I'm just going to switch back to standards. Okay, Blade, um, try and work that position to the best of your ability. I got no shot. I am there. not a fan of this tank. T44, I gotta push. I gotta push, I gotta push. I don't wanna push, but I gotta push. You got shots in them, Blade? I can't see. Find a position that you can. Good hit. Good hit. Just start loading in the premium. I have no shots and I can't pull unless I want to get hit. Got it, hang on. Careful and pulling yeah, up. We wanna I we wanna fight from range. I can't. I if can't you can, cut towards me and try and get over into J eight. And work from J eight. We'll see what we can do that way. Over at J eight. Oh, oh never mind, never mind. Go, Go back, head back, head back, rotate back. Sorry, they're they're pulling in right here. Yep. Yep. Rotate back left. Try and use your concealment to relocate. There you go, Blade. Beautiful. Did you get spotted or are you still safe? Nope. I'm still safe. Okay, I'm not going to shoot. You got shots in the Paladin? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a risk. Are you okay right here hang by on, yourself for on. a minute? Hang on. If he pokes up. If he pokes up, hang on. There Beautiful hit. I'm going to go ahead and drop But I got down. spotted. That's Just okay. So you know. That's okay. Because I'm going to pull over here. And then come up on his side. And then I'll apply a little bit of aggression here. What's up, Paladin? Going to make him drop. Blade, do you want to pull up uh, left? Try and pull in on that left side a little bit, or do you just actually stay where you are right now because uh, you can provide cover fire if they try to rush me? Yep. 
Okay, there's six minutes left in the clock. This is going to be a long match. Got no shots here. Come on, come on, come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep, keep coming. coming, keep coming. Indeed. I'm going to pull in this paladin. Got it. Good hit. I'll try and I'll try and see if I can block the shot here. There we go. He fired premature. Uh, that guy's going to try to push around behind you. Do you want me to push up? No, stay where you are. I'm going to fall back. I'll fall back. That way he has to get within um, range of you. Or you know what? Let's use your hit points and let's rush this uh, paladin. Yeah, because the one guy took off, and I think he's trying to either flank you or flank me. Yeah, go ahead, so drive down left. Down. Yeah, drive down left and see if you can take on the uh, paladin. I'm going to... Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> right, here we go. That was close. And I'm full health, too, so... Yeah, you're full health, I'm gonna, so... I'm going to push in on it. Get behind the paladin. I wonder if the T-44-100 is going to try and come up to my rear. If you pull in underneath, I'll then team up with you. I'm pulling in underneath right now. Okay. Boom. He's going to panic. Boom. There's the panic. I'm coming in. He's coming towards me. Yeah, back up. Continue to back up. Oh, no. This isn't good. Oh. Oh. You needed to be closer. Yeah, you pulled in way <laughs> early. I should have held off. But he's on, he's a one hit. And the other guy... Is a two hit. They're both, yeah, they're both... Well, he's 271, so I mean... I do 240. Oh, okay. Got this. And he's got gun depression on you all the way, to No, he doesn't. Yeah, Blade, you should have held off just a tad bit, or I should have been ready a lot earlier. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Couldn't really afford to lose into the fix. The other guy's going to try to yeah, move Yeah, he off, pulled up, up on top. Hill. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. That was a good go. That was a good try. That was. Honestly, Blade, you should have, we should have waited a little bit longer to make that call, but it is what it is. You know, there's only so much we can do. Well, that sucks. That would have been an awesome match. Mastery badge yeah, and a losing team. So, right. uh, don't, don't, whatever you do, do not trust this match though. I hate this tank with a passion. If I was in any other tank, it would have been better. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, yeah, man. We, that we did not, I that did not go as planned. There. I thought you were going to be there. I only that. had 400 hit points. Like, my goal was you pull down to the bottom side right there, and then I came around with you. You know, but I was saying, like, get, I like, get behind him. I didn't mean, like, get underneath. I should have been a lot more clear with my words. I should have said you should have gone on the backside on top of the ridge to fire behind him. That way he has to drive down into the ravine and then we can pound him out inside the ravine. Right. I should have made right. I should have been a lot more clear. Like I thought that you were gonna go actually behind behind, not on his side, because you you, oh, yeah, you came you in the ravine go, from his you side. To drive down into the ravine and come up behind him. No, no 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 I wanted you to say outside but the he ravine. Did he did. But the thing is once he got close he's a heavy, you're a medium, you're lightly armored, yep. you're better off at range. Yeah, he was. He got you. Now, just bad play on our end. But other than that, dude, you know what? I don't even care because I was a four to nine. Yeah. And it came down to the last two. I mean, I probably could have applied pressure on the cap, but thing is, the paladin's there. There's only so much pressure I can apply. Right. Well, All mean, right. I had well, covered. he would have had to pull up in the open to shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. There. Well, and I had not really because. I mean, it, okay, it is yeah. it is what it is. Other than that, you guys, T25 Paladin. Not, yo, t <laughs> we saw a Paladin. This isn't the T25 Paladin. It's a Tier 8 American 
pile of crap. Don't <laughs> believe this game I just had inside of it. I hate this tank with a passion. I never play this thing. I think it sucks. It has no armor for its tier. And I guess here I am playing it perfect for the lineup that it was in. All right, whatever. I'm done. Blade, do you want to add anything? <laughs> no. No, dude. Okay. I think you said it all right there. All right. Yeah, it has no armor. It's in the wrong tier. I mean, look at the leopard, though. I mean, you can't really argue with this thing. But still, I'm not a fan of it, and I probably won't continue to play it. <laughs> I'm too aggressive to use this thing. You guys have a great day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Blade, Blade's here. Thank you. You know, <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just giggle at it. Uh, right. And I, I guess we can do this. Um, I know that the Alt-30 Proto is a tank that recently came out. I'll do it this way. Let's do a little bit of a giveaway. If you're on Xbox, leave your um, gamer tag down at the bottom, and I'll just go through it and pick one random person, send you a message on Xbox, and add each other inside the uh, Xbox. Uh, in, in game, friends. Yes. See, the Muppet Reblade, it's hit. Oof, man. Yep, so all proto. You guys want one? Leave a comment down in the com comment section with your gamer tag. I'm going to go um, speak language somewhere else. You guys have fun.